how much the Bone Thugs influenced me being an Ohio kid. They influenced me heavily. You know, high techs and khakis with jackets, you know, the afros, like dicky suits. Like, I mean, Bone was everything to uh, me and my friends as kids because that's the only example we had for hip hop. You know, that was the first artist that we really had that represented us, that we actually looked at them and they looked like the guys that grew up in our neighborhoods. Bone is one of my favorite groups of all time. Um, they were true trendsetters, just like Ohio and Midwest guys are. So it was definitely a blessing to uh, be able to witness them, you know, when they first came in the game and just be mind blown by just the energy that they brought. If I had to name um, artists outside of Bone Thugs that influenced me, I would have to say Nas, number one, Andre 3000, and um, I would say Scarface. Like those three, just their vision, the descriptiveness in their music, the stories, the paints, uh, the pictures they painted. You know, I always tell people like, some of the best music is when an artist can bring you to their neighborhood or to bring you to their city and give you a whole nother vibe. And they talk about things like you never knew, never been, but you feel like you have. Like even Common, you know, like on Resurrection, he used to say, you know, he went to parties at McCormick Place or, you know, he would eat Giordano's, get takeout. And you'd be like, man, what is all these places? So when you came to Chicago, he was like, I gotta go there. Where's Giordano's? Where McCormick Place at? You know what I mean? Where's Wicker Park? Like, cause you heard it in the music. And same thing with Nas, you know, Nas didn't bring you New York City. He didn't bring you Queens. He brought you Queens Bridge. He didn't even bring you Queens Bridge. He brought you in blocks radius. He brought you the 41st and Vernon. It's like, where's that at? I want to be there. You know what I mean? And it's just like Outkast, same thing. They brought you Atlanta. You know, they was talking about the Swats and they was talking about uh, even Savannah and different things. And it's like, yo, I want to be there. I want to go down Old National. You know, like I want to see the Georgia Dome, like these things that they was talking about. The rappers, they just rap. They just say stuff. They just rhyme. They want to be cool. Rappers need role models. They look up to people. They just, they're just people, just like cops. Cops aren't role models. I'm not really someone that, you know, samples heavy, you know what I mean? And just lives off that, so, you know, because at the same time, that's a lot of, that's a lot of money you have to pay <laughs> at the end of the day. When the bus flipped, everybody was asleep. I was asleep, I thought I was dreaming, because you, you bouncing around in there like you in the, the cage of a NASCAR. Why is it so important to receive validation from these institutions that we know are prejudiced, racist, corrupt, popularity contest? In the first place, why do we even care? 